Hi, medias. This is CBSE Grade 10 Development of Resources Geography First Lesson Resource Planning. What is resource planning? What is the meaning of resource planning? Why we need resource planning and how it has been implemented in India? Let us see in this session these details. Okay, children. First of all, we have to develop the resources, not only developing the resources, we have to plan to use the resources judiciously. Okay, children. So, what is the develop? I mean, development of resources, why it is? Because development resources are vital for human survival, development, and for maintaining the quality of life. Vital is important. The, the resources are very much important for human survival. We need the resources for our survival, first of all. It is very much important for our survival. And for the development, we have to develop. Not only the survival is our motive, we have to develop. No? And for the maintaining the quality of life. Surviving is a basic that should be developed and that should be qualified. Can you understand, children? So resources are very much important for our survival and our development and we, have, we can live the quality life. Okay, children. So what is resource planning? Let us see the meaning first of all. Okay. So overutilize, why resource planning? Overutilization of you may have questions, a three more questions from the board asking that, why resource planning is necessary or overutilization of resources leads to what are the disadvantages of overutilization of resources what are the what are the problems faced by the overutilization of resources any kinds so these three things you have to answer media so overutilization of resources resources are available naturally because of our greediness of free few individuals see God has created everything for human beings. If we use it for our own use, that will be enough and more than enough. But for the greediness of the few individuals, they are over-utilizing, over-utilizing the resources and it resulted in depletion of resources. That is deterioration of resources. Okay, children. So what is over-utilization of resources led to many problems? What are the problems we Depletion of resources for meeting the greed of few individuals. It has been created for everybody. But in the greedy individuals, few individuals, they started exploiting the resources to, to earn much wealth. Okay. So overutilization resulted in depletion of resources in few, few hands. Then concentration of resources. Because of this, it dis divided the society into haves and have-nots. That is, the people, those who have resources and the people, those who have not resources, okay? That is, it widens the economical gap between rich and poor, economical disparity, it enhances the economical disparity that is rich and poor, okay, children? So, first thing, depletion of resources. Second thing, concentration of resources that widens the gap between rich and poor. Then, the third level, it's global level. Global ecological crisis. What is ecological crisis? It led to global crisis such as global warming, depletion of ozone layer, pollution, land degradation. These are the problems arises because of the overutilization. Okay. So, what are the reasons for the If you use overutilized resources, we have to face the problems. So, now you could have understand that Many problems we face now, like global warming, depletion of ozone layer, pollution, land degradation, everything because of the human beings' greediness, exploiting the natural resources, overutilization of the resources. Okay, children. Three problems we have to face depletion of resources, concentration of resources in few hands, ecological, global ecological crisis. Okay. So we have to use we have to plan how to use the resources. We have to use the resources, at, and also it should be saved for the future. Okay, how to 
use the resource they have to plan it everything whatever we do should be planned no matter so what is resource planning any planning is a technique or skill now proper or judicious use okay any planning so resource planning here means it's a technique or it's a skill of proper or judicious use of resources what is judicious we have to use the resources now as well as we have to save it for the future generation also and also for our fellow beings not uh, in our own few hands okay mages so it's a technique or of judicious use of resources and also it's widely accepted strategy planning is widely accepted strategy for judicious use of resources so in short resource planning is a technique for judicious use of resources which is widely accepted strategy okay why resource planning is in india i mean resource planning is important in a country like india because a country like india we have diversified resources it uh, i mean concentration of resources is diversified it is not concentrated i mean it's not distributed even in some areas more resources are there but they lack very uh, i mean basic resources in another areas and the same resources may be deficient and it may be enriched with some other resources okay that should be balanced which are like, for example there are regions which are rich in certain types of resources but are deficient in some other resources that is uneven distribution of resources okay children so we have to balance these resources there are some for for example jharkhand chatisgarh madhya pradesh i mean in the eastern part northeastern parts of uh, states jharkhand chatisgarh madhya pradesh and all deccan plateau what will be there plateaus are enriched with minerals plateaus are uh, plateaus are um, uh, i mean enriched with minerals so what we have to do we have to balance the resources okay you remember in such a way plateaus are enriched with resources so northeastern states like jharkhand chatisgarh i will show you the map jharkhand chatisgarh and madhya pradesh are rich in minerals and coal deposits and arunachal pradesh has if you go even more eastern north eastern parts of north extreme part of india arunachal pradesh has abundance of water chirabunji meghalaya so we have abundance of water there uh, but they lacks infrastructural development arunachal pradesh has abundance of water it lacks infrastructural development that's what i told you some areas are rich in one type of resources and but it lacks in the another type of resources see if you if you see the map you can understand see children in the rajasthan and all rajasthan is enriched with solar and wind energy but it lacks water and other resources okay and you see madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand and all these areas are enriched with coal deposits coal and minerals here if you move on to the eastern most part of india i mean arunachal pradesh it's full of water abundance of water but it lacks infrastructural facilities so the minerals in these areas i mean madhya pradesh jharkhand chatisgarh should be distributed evenly to entire nation i mean all parts of the india okay this solar and wind energy from rajasthan should be also should be distributed all over the nation that should be made available to all areas of the all states of india okay children so we have to plan for the balanced uh, distribution of resources rajasthan is very well endowed with solar and wind energy but it lacks in water resources the coal dust that ladakh is isolated from rest of the country it has rich cultural heritage that is deficient in water infrastructure and some vital minerals okay this calls for balanced resource planning at the national state regional and local levels so we need resource planning again you see the map some areas are rich with the solar and wind energy here the ladakh is enriched with cultural heritage but it lacks vegetables i mean vegetations see these areas are enriched with minerals that should be distributed all over the nation 
uh, Arunachal Pradesh is enriched with abundance of water, but it lacks infrastructural facilities. So everything should be balanced. These resources, where it is available, should be distributed to the deficient areas. Okay, children. So we need resource planning because resources are not distributed evenly. So country like India, we have resource planning. It is necessary. Okay, so need for resource planning. Let us see. What are the reasons? I mean, why do we need for resource planning? Why do we need resource planning? Most of the resources are limited in supply, as I told you. They are unevenly distributed. So, they should be distributed balanced. We need balanced resources, balanced distribution. That is one reason. The next thing is overutilization of resources. See, in my area, only the water is available. If I use water, 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 only in my area, only the minerals are available. I'll be using overutilization. That is because that, that my, so my area, only minerals are available. I can make use of that only. So if you use it over utilization, what will happen? It will result in pollution of environment. So over utilization is also danger. And, and you come to the opposite side, under utilization. Under utilization also children, if you have resources, only if you use it, you can develop. If not, if you're not utilizing the resources, mere presence of resources is no use of it. So underutilization of resources will lead to underdevelopment of economy. Overutilization will lead to pollution, degradation, and depletion. Okay, so overutilization is also dangerous as well as underutilization is also dangerous. So we have to balance the resource utilization. Understand, children? So planning is, and also planning is required to become self-dependent. We should be self-dependent. All the resources are available. We have to use it in a uh, judicious manner, planned manner. Then we will be successful. We will be self-reliant. Okay, children. So, why do we need resource planning? Resources are limited in supply. They are unevenly distributed. So, we need balanced distribution. For that, we need resource planning. And overutilization lead to pollution. So, that should be balanced, controlled. Underutilization will lead to underdevelopment of the economy. So we have to increase the use of utilization of resources. Now, planning is required to become self-dependent. Because of these five reasons, we need resource planning. Okay, then three stages of resource planning in India. What are the stages? Three stages of resource planning in India. How to plan? Okay, children. So, What are the three stages of resource planning in India? Yeah, identification and inventory of resources. Okay. What are the stages? First, we have to locate the resources. Okay, children. We have to identify what resources are available. Inventory is stock. Inventory is stock. We have to identify which resources are available. By Rajasthan, we have uh, solar and wind energy. I mean, Arunachal Pradesh, we have uh, water resources. And in um, um, plateaus, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, we have mineral resources, mineral and coal deposits. Okay, so we have to identify the resources first of all, and talk of it, how much it has, what is the quality of that resource. So we have it includes surveying, mapping, qualitative and quantitative estimation. How much is available? What is the quality of it? And measurement. Okay. So identify, we have to, first of all, we have to identify the resources, find out the stock of resources, how much it is available, first thing. Second thing, we have to make a plan structure. What to make a plan structure? Technology skill. I mean, human beings, technology skills, software, hardware, everything should be set up with institutions. What is institutions? The organizations, I mean, factories, industries, or any organization to be in to be carried over, okay? So, my making a plan structure using appropriate technology skill and institutional setup so that all resources development plans can be implemented. So, first you have to identify and find out the stock. 
quality, quality, everything. Then we have to make a plan. Then the plan should be matched with national development plans. Resource development plans should be matched with national development plans. Okay, children. So these are the three stages of resource planning in India. Identification and inventory of resources, which includes surveying, mapping, qualitative and quantitative estimation. Then making a plan structure with technological skill and institutional setup. The third one, we have to match these plans with the national development plans. Okay. So what is conservation of natural resources? Conservation is we have to make use of it for the present use as well as we have to save for the future generation also. We should not spend as, as it is available. If it is available, no, we can, I can make use of it. I can make use of it. I have to benefit it. I have to be better. No, my dears. That should be saved for the future generation also. We are not telling that for that to save for the future, you should not be using the resources. No, you also should be benefited and the same thing should be left for our next generations also. So what is conservation of natural resources? That is judicious and planned use of natural resources to get maximum possible benefit from these over the longest possible period of time. Why resource conservation? Why to conserve the resources? We have already seen that resources are vital for our economical development, for any developmental activity. Without resources, we cannot develop. Okay, so resources are vital for our development, any developmental activity. Irrational consumption and overutilization of resources lead to socio-economic and environmental problems. At the beginning of this session itself, we have seen. And to overcome these problems, we need conservation of resources. Resources are vital for development. Irrational consumption will lead to socioeconomic and environmental problems. To overcome these problems, we need to conserve the resources. Okay. So Gandhiji voiced out that about the voice, uh, resource conservation. He told that there is enough for you may have questions, my dears, with this quote. Only they'll give you this quote. Who quoted this and explain this? They'll ask you in the board exam. You will have three more questions. Or by more question, even sometimes you can expect there is a need, there is enough for everybody's need and not for anybody's greed. As I told you, God has created the resources for every human being, but not for anybody's greediness. Okay, He placed the greedy and selfish individuals as culprits. They are the reasons for the depletion of resources. They are the reasons for the global ecological crisis. He Blame these greedy and selfish individuals. Okay, he was against mass production and wanted to replace it with production by mass. What is mass production and production by mass? He was against mass production. Mass production in the sense a few people, because of the selfishness and greediness, they started exploiting the resources. So production by mass production by few individuals. One person are few persons producing in mass. I mean, for example, uh, solar and wind energy, for, uh, we can take, uh, or else mines, coal mines, or uh, coal mines, let us, uh, for example, only, you know, so coal mines, only few individuals are extracting, 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 that is mass production. That will result in haves and have nots, I mean, economical disparity. So Gandhiji was against mass production, that should be replaced with production by mass. What is production by mass? Many people, for example, 100 tons of uh, minerals are extracted by one person. That is not good. If 50 persons extracted the same 100 tons, not by only one individual, if the same 100 tons of minerals, if it is being extracted by 50 individuals, so it is by production by mass. So 50 individuals will be benefited. Can you understand children? So he was against the mass production and supported the production by masses. That should be encouraged. That, mean, that means all should be given equal opportunity for utilizing the resources. At the international level, what happened? For the development of conservation of resources, what are the steps taken at international level? 
So at the international level, the club of Rome, first of all, the club of Rome, it was first time it conserve it, it it was conducted and it advocated the resource conservation. The in the international conference held it, the uh, club of Rome at the first time in 1968, which advocated the resource conservation. The first time the resource conservation meeting was held at Club of Rome in 1968, even after our independence only. Subsequently, the second time, subsequently 1964, I mean after seven years, after six years, Gandhian philosophy was once again presented by Schumacher in his book, Small is Beautiful. That is not production by mass production, production by mass. Schumacher in his book, Small is Beautiful. That was once again, Gandhian philosophy was once again presented. The third thing, Brentland Commission report. The seminal contribution with respect to resource conservation at the global level was made by the Brentland Commission report in 1987. In this commission only, we introduced, they introduced the concept of resource sustainable development. Okay. So at the international level, the three steps at the beginning it was taken. Club of Rome, the first time in Club of Rome, it advocated the resource conservation in 1968. In 1974, subsequently, once again, Gandhian philosophy was presented by Schumacher in his book, Small is Beautiful. The third thing, seminal contribution. I mean, they have conducted the seminar and they have presented a report, which is by the Frontland Commission it, that is called Brentland Commission Report in 1987. What was Brentland Commission Report? This introduced the concept of sustainable development. Now we are telling that no, often we are using the word sustainable development, sustainable development, no, which is we have to make use of the resources for our now at present day as well as for the future generation. That is called the sustainable development. This concept was first time, first was introduced in the 1987 uh, conference that they have conducted the seminar and they have submitted the report by the Brentland Commission. There they have first time introduced the concept sustainable development. It advocated as means for resource conservation in a book, our common future. So another significant contribution was made at the Rio de Earth Summit, Rio de Janeiro, the Earth Summit at international level. In that, more than 100 uh, countries' leaders have participated and they discussed the, the global ecological crisis like ozone depletion and global warming at Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, which was conducted in 1992. So these were the measures, these were the things taken international level. So resource conservation measures at international level, let us uh, concise Club of Rome advocated resources conservation in 1968. In 1974, Schumacher emphasized Gandhi's in, Gandhi's in, Gandhian philosophy in his book, Small is Beautiful. Brentland Commission introduced the concept of sustainable development. And the fourth one is the Rio de Janeiro at Brazil. The first international Earth summit was conducted in 1992. These were the steps taken at international level to conserve the resources. Okay, children. So let us see once again, let us consolidate. What is resource planning? Why do we need resource planning? We need resource planning. What is, why, how it is implemented? Why do we need resource planning? Source is important for human survival, first of all, for the development and for the quality of life. Anyway, we should not, we have to live a better life. So overutilization resulted in depletion of resources, concentration of resources in few hands and global ecological problems like global warming, depletion of resources, pollution and land degradation. What is resource planning? The technique of using judicious resource, which is widely accepted strategy. So why resource planning is important in a country like India because resources are unevenly distributed in some areas are uh, enriched with some resources but the same resources are deficient in some other areas so that that should be balanced for example Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh are rich with minerals and coal deposits 
Arunachal Pradesh abundance of water lacks infrastructural facilities like this. And Rajasthan is endowed with solar and wind energy, but it lacks in water. Ladakh is isolated from the rest of the, it is rich in cultural heritage, but deficient in water, infrastructure, and minerals. So we need balanced resources. We need a resource planning. Need for resource planning because resources are limited in supply. It is unevenly distributed. It leads to pollution. I mean, overutilization leads to pollution. Underutilization leads to underdevelopment of country. We need resource planning to become self-reliant. What is resource planning? What are the three stages of resource planning? Identification of resources and inventory of resources, making a plan structure and matching the plans with national development plans. What is conservation of resources? We have to conserve the resources for the better utilization. Why conservation? Already we have seen it's vital for development. It leads to socioeconomic and global problems. To overcome these problems, we need conservation of resources. Gandhiji's um, voice and what are the steps taken at the international level? First time, Club of Rome advocated the resource conservation in 1968, 74. Schoomacher in his book, Smallest Beautiful, emphasized this idea. Brundtland Commission introduced the concept of sustainable development in Rio de Janeiro. More than 100 countries' leaders participated in this meeting and they discussed about the global ecological problems like global warming and depletion of ozone layer and all. So, that they have decided to implement Agenda 21. Let us, see. Let us talk about Agenda 21 in the next session separately. So, these are the resource planning measures taken by the international, taken at international level. In next session, let us see, let, let me meet you with another topic. Thank you, children.